What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. The first video in about two weeks. Uh, as you may have heard in the previous videos, we were in the process of moving. So we had to get a bunch of stuff moved, which you can see all the boxes. All the boxes. All the boxes are everywhere. We have a ton of stuff to do still including ripping up the carpet throughout most of the house which wasn't a big deal we got that ripped up and removed easy but picking up all the staples and the trim that's been a pain but we finally got to the new place we got our keys we're in and it is time to set up the 55 gallon now i got it in its spot it is ready to go all that's left to do is to fill it and get the sand and everything all, all in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the stand itself, the, the tank, you know, show it to you as is. And then after each step, you know, filling the sand, putting in some of the live rock, all that sort of stuff. I'll show you guys a little bit of an update. So it'll be a little bit choppy video, but it'll be cool watching this 55 gallon get set up process, like the whole process. It'll be really cool. Uh, my goal is I want to do like a one year video for it. Like every week do an update on the 55 gallon saltwater tank. This I'll count week one, you know, and then like week two, anything I add, all sorts of cool stuff. And just give you guys a weekly update on, you know, the parameters, how it's doing, how it looks, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, that's going to be it for right now. Let's get to that fish tank. All right, guys, here we are, the 55 gallon. Sorry about the glare. Got to clean it up a little bit more. But there she is. Oop, stepping on stuff. We've got the light and the lid and everything over there. I actually stepped on the drill. So luckily I didn't break anything. But we're setting it up in this closet. The goal is to actually take the light or the doors off. You know get the doors off their hinges take that out so it's nice and open but i think that's gonna look really really cool here in the living room take a step back i mean just look how awesome that's gonna be once you take those doors off get the doors out of the way that'll be so cool uh but here we got sand lots of sand we got filter turbo start heater power head all of our good stuff got our cleaning products i've actually got the rest of the stuff the live rock from the 30 gallon all but one i brought over so we're going to be putting that in here as well to help cycle it a little bit faster but i'll be right back with the sand sand in there it's time to move it all around Ugh, sandy but there we are we've got our sand all over the bottom now in case you're wondering I used carob sea really really good stuff uh, it, it ready to use right out the bag you're good to go it actually helps right there with the nitrates and you know how much i love my nitrates <laughs> but uh eric alive good for reef tanks so we can actually start getting some coral for in there but that is what we have set up that's what that looks like sorry again about the glare 
Now, I probably could have got away with two bags, but you know what? I think we're good in there. Now let's go get some live sand. Or live sand. We already got live sand. It's right there. Durr. Let's go get some live rock. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. All right, guys. Now it's time to put all of our bits of live sand in the tank. This isn't near enough that you need to fill a 55 gallon. But this is what I brought with me. Minus one piece I left because it had the snails on it at the 30 gallon. So we still got that one back at the old place. But it's time to put some live rock in there. And this is where you get to have all sorts of fun. Do any kind of aquascaping you want. You know, get it set up. Make it look real cool, real nice. Let's see what I can come up with. <laughs> Again, sorry about the glare, but you can see it's got a nice little tunnel there, nice little hidey spot tunnel there, a little teeny tiny tunnel hidey spot over there. You know, I think it looks pretty gar pretty darn good for what we've got. And like I said, we still got more another piece of rock at home, and I kind of got to run to the fish store to pick up some more. But I think that is looking pretty darn sweet we got room in the back there perfect now we have to hang all the stuff on the back the filter the heater all that fun stuff so i will get right back to you with that all right we've got our filter set up probably hard to see in there but we've got the two cartridges rinsed off set up i just gotta put the lid on it However the heck the lid goes on, there we go, nice and neat, looks pretty good if you ask me. Now one thing I forgot to mention is the outlet, because we're in a closet. Closets don't usually have outlets, but we're lucky, right next to the door, nice big outlet. So I'm going to end up getting a uh, battery backup that we can plug in and have it run super awesome and smooth and awesome and nice and amazing and awesome again. So there we go. All you have to do is plug filter in to outlet, which I'm going to wait on because we don't have any water. So let's go get the rest of the stuff set up. All right, so here we go. We've got the filter, and eh, kind of hard to see. Uh, we've got the heater, and we've got the wave maker all plugged in. Uh, it also came with an awesome little digital scale, or uh, <laughs> digital scale, digital thermometer. So that is our current setup. All that's left now is to fill it up with some water, which will be fun. But I will show you the products that I got. I've got them all laid out here on the floor. <clears throat> we went with the Free C Wave Maker FS130. Or Lushai. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Probably not. Uh, but Submersible Aquarium Heater. And we went with the Aquatec 30 to 60 gallon filter. So those are all of the exciting accessories for that beast. Now let's get some water in there and that's going to take a hot minute. So I won't make you sit through a, a time lapse of that, but we'll be back when that's done. And there we have it. It's very, 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 very cloudy, but that will happen when you put 55 gallons of water in a fish tank. 
But we've got everything all plugged in. We got our filter going. Wave maker's going, if you can kind of see it in there. Kind of not really. Oh, we gotta put the cap back on. You. Oop, a little bit crooked there. There we go. And there, there she is. That's my power cord setup for the minute that will be changing come this weekend. I gotta actually get it mounted. You can see it's, this has a mount, so I can actually mount it once I remove the doors. But I wanted to make sure everything was powered on and running. And we look pretty good. So the last thing to do is our turbo start. From Fritz Zyme. Fritz Zyme? Fritz Zyme? I have no idea. But... There you go. You can see the little directions in case you're curious. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and add that. I'll do that off camera. You don't need to see me pour in a little bit of quick start. But there we are. Fish tank is set up. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button down below. Because man, do I have some plans coming for this place. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.